the Nautilus system is a special intrasacular flow diverter and neck bridge that's used in conjunction with coils. So you essentially create a metal disc or funnel that has about 75, 80% of the area covered in metal and you deploy it, it builds itself in the aneurysm in a spiral fashion and then you pull it down to the neck and then you can place coils in as well. Uh, and it's indicated for wide-necked aneurysms, aneurysms with necks that are greater than four millimeters. Uh, right now it's being studied in the U.S. specifically for ruptured aneurysms. Wide-necked aneurysms continue to be a challenge for endovascular therapy. When they're sidewall and on the carotid artery, flow diverters have become very much a mainstay. But as you get to bifurcation, aneurysms, and more distal locations, flow diversion, traditional, in the vessel flow diversion, doesn't always provide the best option. So there's been other ways to explore. We have stents to support coils, but those require antiplatelet medications. And then we also have intrasacular flow diverters like the web or contour. Uh, the Nautilus is the next evolution of that concept. Instead of taking a fixed ball or or apple shape or square or, or um, upside down umbrella, instead of taking a fixed mesh construct that has a shape it has to take that you have to try to fit it to the aneurysm. Instead, the Nautilus, you build the device, it comes out in a spiral in the aneurysm itself, and then you pull it down and it conforms to the aneurysm neck rather than the other way around. For me, what's so exciting and interesting about the Nautilus technology is that it provides some, a very different feel than the traditional mesh-based intrasacular flow diverters. So with those constructs, you have a mesh that has to take a particular shape to occlude the neck of the aneurysm. There's a little bit of anxiety for me when you're deploying one of those devices until it opens up and takes its, its much more relaxed state. Uh, with the Nautilus, it is based on a principle that's very similar to traditional coils, so that you feel very comfortable deploying it and having it shape, and then also it's very soft. You could push the device up four or five millimeters, you can pull it all the way out of the aneurysm, and it's not going to tear the vessel or injure the vessel. And so having that degree of confidence in the safety uh, is very exciting for me. And then the last thing is, you're getting 70, 80% metal coverage at the neck. And that's something we've been unable to achieve with mesh-based systems. So those are the things that I really think stand out for that technology. Right now, the Nautilus is being used to treat all locations of aneurysms. It's been used from distal ACA, MCA, basilar, uh, pica, carotid. Uh, it's been used on sidewall aneurysms and in bifurcation aneurysms. I think that its unique conformability uh, gives it a little bit of flexibility so that it can be used in a great many locations. And I think practitioners are gonna find that to be something they like uh, because they're not stuck having to use device A for tab A and device B for aneurysm B and, and mix and match. This hopefully is something they can use pretty regularly across all wide-necked aneurysm types. So currently internationally, uh, there have been well over 100 Nautilus cases performed, probably close to 150, I don't know the exact number. Um, the US trial just started recently. Um, at our site, we've done about 10 or so cases, nine or t 10 cases. Um, we've treated, the very first case we treated, I showed in the lecture earlier, was a, a pica aneurysm, a very difficult, challenging one with a great result. And so far, we've been very excited with the outcomes, but PCOMs, MCA aneurysms, ACOMs. Uh, so uh, in the current U.S. iteration of the device, I've been involved with every case, about nine or so. Um, and then obviously many, many of the international cases I've been around. So it's, uh, I'm pretty excited. I think it's going to be a tool people are going to want to use, and I think we'll be helping our patients by bringing it to the market. The thing is with the Nautilus, so far every physician I've seen who's used it 
in actual cases has come away incredibly excited because they feel that this is something that's meaningfully different that they can use to help their patients. And so I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the US trial and hopefully a successful completion and eventual FDA approval because I believe patients will benefit from this technology becoming available to the wider audience.